before I put on makeup at 10 o'clock at night for this quick little video, I'm not sure up, but am I mad about it? No! Hey y'all, it's me, Leah Pia, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be like a little DIY, a little room decor. I did it over spring break and I didn't record myself doing it, but once it's done and I'm looking at it, I'm like, I have to share it with y'all. So if you wanna do something really cute for your room, this is it. Probably seen it on TikTok, when you Google stuff, room decor, whatever. But I made the really cute glass album covers, glass music, Thing. And I did it all under $25 and without Cree Cut, Crew Cut, Cree Cut. I think that's what it's called, but I didn't use it because I didn't pay for it. <laughs> if you like this video and if you like what I did to make it truly my own, please give it a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe, you know, because I do other videos. I'm going to stop talking now so we can get right into how to do this. I'm sorry for not having any imagery of me doing this, but I thought that if I explain it thoroughly, you'll be able to understand and it'll come out like mine. On to the things you'll need. The first thing is eight by 10 glass. I actually used picture frames. You know the glass you get a picture frame from the dollar store? Yeah. I didn't go to the store and get the picture frames. I ordered them off of the Dollar Tree website, but I got 12 of them and shipping wasn't that much. So if you just count the $12, it's still under 25. Of course, you can go to the store and get them yourself. Next, you're gonna need paint pens. I know a lot of people use Sharpie pens, but I opted to use a different kind of pen because after reading reviews of the Sharpie pens, I just didn't like the reviews and I said, we ain't even gonna try it. So I got these paint pens off of Amazon. Artistro, you get five in a pack. I think I only paid $9 for these. I liked that it came with five pens because I actually used all five when I noticed that one of them were kind of running out. Next, you're gonna need the pictures that you're gonna use um, in your glass. I don't have a example, but this is kind of like what you're gonna need, but you're not gonna want this size. You're gonna want five by five pictures. I printed my pictures out on walmart.com because I couldn't get five by five when you go in the store. I got 12 pictures, all five by five, all matte, and it didn't cost that much. It was like $3.83. Picture like this, but just five by five. I tried. <laughs> Now, as for the templates that you're gonna use um, to put on your glass, this is what mine looks like. You wanna make sure that they are all the same. If they're not the same, your album covers won't look the same unless you care about that. You're gonna learn that I was definitely a perfectionist when it came to doing this job. <laughs> And I will show you how to get them like this. You're gonna need tape, you need thumbtacks. I got these from Target for only $1.99. Rubbing alcohol for if you mess up, a ruler to just get your measurements right. Other than that, let's get into it. First, what I did was I went to Apple Music. Um, you can use Spotify too, by the way, or any streaming service that you use. But here's a song that I'm choosing. So you just wanna go to wherever. I went to my favorite parts in the song. I'm just gonna go to a random part right now. Take a screenshot. I got this idea from another really cool video that inspired me to do this, but I had to tweak it to make it work for me. This is what I did now. I had to edit the photo. I brought it down and just got what I was gonna use in there. Once you have your screenshot and it's all cropped, you want to go to this app called Fonto. It's real cute, it's red, has a little pee on it. That's what it, you know, the icon looks like. <laughs> Once you get into the app, you want to click on the little camera and click plain images. Click the little white box in the right hand corner and change the size of it. I'm gonna choose iPhone 11 Pro, do it in landscape version. Then click the little go button and click use. Once you do that, click the little dashes in the uh, corner and click add image and put the image that you just cropped. Once you have it, you want to change the size. I put the size and the width all width, width, all the way up to 414. Brought the height down to 203. Very specific number, but it works. And then you want to change the alpha so that you can see the white in the back. I try to position it perfectly. Once you have it on there like you like, you want to change the alpha and bring it all the way back up to 100. Once that's done, just save it to your camera roll. You want to email it to yourself. I think you could do it on your phone, but doing it on a laptop just made it so much easier. Open a blank Google Doc and put your picture into the Google Doc. It's important that all the pictures are the same, so that means all your size, your width, your height, your this, your that, gotta be the same too. Click on the photo and there's three little dots 
okay three little dots in the corner of that photo and i have to be explained that thoroughly y'all got it i made the width of my photo 8.19 inches and the height of my photo 3.36 inches width and the height scale are all at 100. then it's important to get your position of the photo x was negative 0.81 inches and the y was 6.48 inches once you do that your picture should be all the way at the bottom of your screen and you want to print it out and it should come out like this you want to take your glass this is my glass because i don't have no more your glass your picture when i have a flat surface i just use my table glass put it over top of your picture now, as for the like frame part of the glass you could throw that in the garbage but some people use that to like push this put this on the inside but i just did it this way because i thought it'd be easier for me put it on my table like so taped it down then you want to take your paint pen shake it up shake it up and trace 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 and then you should have a beautiful once you take this part away a beautiful glass that looks just like your picture i repeated that step 12 times indeed took me a week to do so, so if you make any mistakes i just use a q-tip and some rubbing alcohol and just wiped away the mistake you want to take your five by five picture not this one your glass that you just finished the reason why we made the picture matte is because glossy pictures will just look kind of weird behind the glass you can put it in Front, but I just thought behind it looked better so I got matte so you want to take your tape behind the glass so the writing's right here take your picture and then put you want to just show a little bit of the tape you don't need that much and once you put it on your wall you won't even be able to see this tape nor the smudges from your finger put it on the edge stick it down oh well that's not in the middle but you get it and then it's on there i also wanted the pictures on there to be to be perfect too so i made a template out of paper towels it's just a couple marks that indicated where exactly i should place my glass and where exactly i should put my picture it doesn't take all that but that's where you can just figure out what works for you girl once you take that little photo down you are done okay not quite because you still have to put them on your wall this is where your thumbtacks come in don't prick yourself now be careful also with glass we're working with glass and um i did step on one and break it on my carpet so for my wall i used my ruler take your ruler this is my this is my ruler right here take your glass piece Ooh. and i just set up my ruler put my glass you know to space it out good i spaced out each one about seven inches apart from each other once you have it perfectly where you want it, you take your thumbtack. I used four thumbtacks. I used one, two, three, four. You can use one, two. You can use one, two, three. One. It doesn't matter. Make it your own thumbtack. Put it right here. Push it into your wall and do that as many times as you need to for how many thumbtacks you want to put in. Once you do that, you are all done. But do make sure that you push your thumbtacks in good enough, but not too much, because remember you're working with glass and you don't want it to crack or anything like that. And it is Dollar Tree glass, so I mean. Let me show you close up what mine turned out like. that's it i truly hope you enjoyed today's video and you got something out of it let me know what you did didn't do what worked for you maybe what did work for you from this video and so on and so forth i really think my room has came together now because of adding those and taking down those little lopsided shell if you like this video please subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this and so many other hair videos makeup videos anything i'm gonna go admire my wall now because i think it's so cute bye god bless